Hey folks, Cappy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Yes, I'm overwhelmed. Oh, I've got so much going on. I'm just overwhelmed. Check this out. Right here, I am watering in my new strawberry plants that I put in the ground. Yes, I decided to put them in the ground. And I did that because, hey, they're a great ground cover. And maybe I won't have all this crap. Maybe I'll be able to keep it up. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try my best to keep them weeded so that they'll spread and hopefully won't give me a bunch of weeds in here. I'm going to plant them all around this tree. I planted them all the way out here where you see right there up to that container there, all around in there, and back over that way. So now I'm just, uh, you know, getting them to water in, and hopefully I can put enough water on this ground that it'll do something, get them started. They've been in the pot <clears throat> with a little bit of water overnight, not much water. I'm only about a quarter of an inch in the bottom. Just to keep them damp. But I still have two more sets. And guys, I ordered more. I've never been able to grow strawberries. I'm hoping I can grow strawberries this time. I want to get all this cleaned out and put them over here. But I decided that I'm going to use them as a ground cover. I'm also going to put in, um, along with this, I'm going to plant some, some, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, clover. Some white clover <laughs> seeds. But I want to wait and see how these do before I put in those white clover seeds. I should probably go ahead and put them in at the same time, but I've already started tonight, so anyways, I need to get this arch out and put it over there where I want it and get this all cleaned up, but oh my goodness, I just ain't got enough time in the day. I spent most of the morning, in fact, I spent all of the morning with, um, uh, a dentist and I'm in a lot of pain tonight he dug and dug and dug in the front of my mouth and got all those uh, um, bones that he could get out of there and oh my goodness talking about pain that hurt and I'm gonna tell you something it don't feel good getting the shots either just saying I know they say the pain, if you don't have the pain shots, well, I could have done without the shot. The shot was killing me. But it is what it is, right? Got to get my watering in. I wanted to get more planted tonight, but it took all evening to do those. And now I've got to water before the sun goes down. <laughs> I don't know what the chicken's picking his head through here for. But look at all these tomatoes. I can't even keep up with picking the tomatoes. Those will have to be picked in the morning because it's just too hot right now to pick them. But look at all those beautiful blackberries on there. Check them out. I'm going to have some nice blackberries. I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to eat those fresh. I've got plenty of wild blackberries that I've made uh, jelly with. But I want to eat these. I may make a pie with them, but I want to eat them fresh. I'm really excited about those. <coughs> and trying to keep them over on this side so the chickens don't get them. But 
They are looking mighty fine. I wish to God I hadn't planted them there. But at the time I planted them, I don't remember if I had the chickens there. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking at all, was I? And I may end up moving that uh, chicken coop again. But for right now, they're perfectly fine. But uh, I thought about moving the chicken coop again. Uh, just so that... Because I'm going to take out... Eventually, one of these days, I'm going to take out that uh, tree you see right there. That's a... Not the bananas. Behind the bananas. That's a palm tree. And it's huge. And I want it out of here. I don't need... I don't need to be growing palm trees, but look at all these beautiful bananas. <laughs> I've got four racks on there that I know of. Five now. Oh, there's another one right there on the other side. Can you see it? I see the tail of it sticking right there. So. There's two right here. There's one over on the other side right there. You can see. See it right there. And there's a small rack in the middle there. And I swear it had yellow fruit on it the other day. But David said, no, it's not yellow. I said, yeah, it looks like it's yellow to me. But anyways... I don't have any star fruit right now, which is a good thing because they fall. I don't get to eat them all. I don't, they're not good for you. And looky here, I think that's a bad butterfly. I think that's a cabbage moth, ain't it? Well, I chased it off. <laughs> oh, it's coming back. Went back that way in the front. It'll find something to munch on, I'm sure. Anyways, I've been killing bugs like crazy. Crazy, crazy. It won't be long until I have a beautiful harvest of uh, blackberries if the chickens don't get out again. I, I had two chickens out this morning. I don't know how in the world they got out. To be honest with you, I found no holes. And I'm just wondering if they hadn't been out for overnight because um, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. That makes me want to fall over on my head when I have to lean down like that. But look at the miracle fruit. This little dude is full. And I'm going to start eating those like crazy. You're really looking good. Um, now, I think that the chicken got out because I think Lancy Pooh or Laura got back there and let the... Uh, I always water my compost because it's always got, you see, uh, tomatoes in it. And there's a tomato over there. Now, to be honest with you, I haven't got any tomatoes out of here because something keeps eating them. I've been fighting them grasshoppers like crazy this year. I mean, crazy, crazy. I don't see any fruit on the jabotacaba right now. Yep, it looks pretty bare. The peach tree, it had blooms all over it, but I see no peaches on it. That's sad. I was so looking forward to at least eating one peach tree, peach off this peach tree. Oh, this breaks my heart. See, even out right there looked like it was a peach, but it just dried up. So anyways, I got no peaches, none whatsoever. I thought there was someone here, but 
I guess I don't. You know, I don't really... Sometimes it's hard for me to see things, too. So, perhaps, maybe, there might be one hidden, but I doubt it. It should have been real big by now. Breaks my heart. Oh, well. Anyways, what on earth is going on here? Well, I thought there was something in there. I thought that leaf was all curled up. Look at all them tomatoes. I have to get them. Those look good. Oh, I put the boat up on here. I know that's terrible, isn't it? I got it up off the ground. It looks like I'm going to be replacing tomato plants soon. But look how beautiful the uh, grapevine is coming up. I don't know if I'm going to put any tomato plants back on these arbors. And this grapevine is taking off too. So I might just, I mean, this tomato plant's just carrying on. It's all the way over the top. But so is the grapevine. So it is what it is. Uh, when that tomato dies out, I'll be very delicately removing it. <laughs> That's what happens when you have to remove something. I don't have to remove it. I could just let it die off and crumble and everything. But tomatoes leave a chance for uh, a lot of different bugs I imagine so I don't want to give it any chance of getting something that it shouldn't have but check out all the blooms I'm definitely going to have to cut them back this time I'm going to cut them down to below the fence because they're already in my power lines again but I'll do that when I got some more time I've got to get these plants in the in the ground. So I'm going to hook this here and I'm going to go over into the garden and uh, plant some, I mean, I water over there. That's the lazy man's way of doing it. No, that's the smart lady's way of doing it. <laughs> so, okay, this one's my scarlet runner. Isn't that beautiful? Y'all don't grow them. You should. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping that the, that the beans are just as good as the fruit. I am I'm so impressed with how beautiful these flowers are. I've never had uh, scarlet runner beans. And I'm hoping I get enough out of it to have a good meal and see how I like them. There's some more over here running back here so I need to get them up on the trails properly and I'm getting eaten up again by mosquitoes guys sorry I'm itching well folks my phone's fixing to die and I've got to get in the house I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes so this is it don't forget, like, subscribe, and share your friends with little. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.